All cool. Right. Welcome to our podcast. We don't have a name yet. What right. should we name this podcast? J and K and C. No, Chris, we don't even know if he's a part of it yet. <laughs> J and K oh, yeah. and little C. J, K, and maybe C. <laughs> and maybe yeah. C. Let's maybe C. J and C, K. C question mark. Okay. Uh, well, well, thanks for helping make Justin's dream of starting a podcast come true. Man, it feels good. But okay, so mm-hmm. we're J and K. I am the K of J and K. I don't know why K didn't come first. I don't know why it's not K and J. But anyways, yes, we're J and K. I'm Cohen. I am married to Justin. Justin is. I don't think we need this many details. Oh, Justin, <laughs> we have a YouTube channel. Well, I have to explain my relationship with Justin <laughs> yeah. too. <laughs> we have a is YouTube there, like, channel. A we make videos. Set of, uh... <laughs> answers that are ready like it's complicated uh, remember to say exactly what i told you to earlier okay. <laughs> but yeah we have a youtube channel that you're probably here through that youtube channel we make videos about random topics in korea usually compared to the u.s because the majority of our audience is in the u.s mm-hmm. and we have our friend chris here with us he is friends with justin why I'm why the are you here chris? editor of all jk's videos oh nice <laughs> actually i'm into that <laughs> or justin's into that i don't really care who edits our videos but justin would be nice very thrilled. yeah unless they think i'm doing a good job that's fine with me just, we just need justin so that youtube allows us to post because he's white <laughs> <laughs> we get we get special privileges uh, actually yeah maybe they only believe that we're based in the u.s because you're white Mm. Yeah. But yeah, Chris, why are you here? Do you know things about Korea and America? Who, like, why did you invite Chris to be on this podcast? I think we went through this earlier. I just wanted to do a podcast. I like Chris and think he's funny. And then when we got on the call, I realized that we weren't going to be able to do a podcast. And we came up with the idea from from that phone call, right? That probably the easiest podcast for us to start would be using Cohen's research that she's already done on videos to start a podcast. That's basically how I approach all my school assignments back in high school and middle school and college. Just find the person who has the most research and notes and Genius. just based off our topics on that. Nice. Yeah. I'm happy to share my work with you lazy people. But then we realized that it has to be a part of the J&K uh, conglomerate. Conglomerate. <laughs> so it's actually a pyramid scheme. <laughs> and that's also why we ha- we literally have to have Cohen, mm. not only because you're really smart and can give more informed information on this than me. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's necessarily true, but I can try. <laughs> but you are the face of J and K now. But anyways, this isn't the topic of today's video. The topic right. of today's video is actually paying for a meal in Korea because at the moment, that is our short with the most amount of views. It, as of today, has 29.3 million views since it was published oh, wow. back in... What month was that? It must have been... Oh, gross. It must have been sometime in the summer. Um... But yeah, how do we do this? Do we watch it or do we read the script or? Well, here's, (laughs) okay, let's break it down. It starts off with like in the States, you pay for a meal at your table. Like people bring you the check and you pay for your meal there. And then like, um, Mm -hmm. so how true is this? Do you actually pay for a meal on your way out? Have you eaten in America before? Do you pay for a meal at your table? Yeah, what does it feel like for you in the States first? Mm, I mean, the only memory I can recall is from Olive Garden. <laughs> so I'm not sure how that's going to be helpful here. No, that's I good. think th- I think yeah, no, no, we, the, the 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 um server comes around the table like every 5 minutes, right, asking Do you want more water? Yeah, yeah, you want more water, want more bread, want more soup. <laughs> and then when we ask for the check, they bring it and then we give them a card and then they take it and then they give us the card back. So it's like a totally unnecessary amount of steps in, to pay for a meal, but you know, I guess they have to get their tips somehow. But uh, oh, that's true. We yeah. also mentioned that you don't tip in Korea. Is this true? Yeah, yeah, of course. Um, I mean, some bars, I guess, like they have like a tip jar. So, um, but those are totally optional. It's based totally based on like how you're feeling that night. It's not mandatory at all. So. What do servers feel about getting tipped in Korea? Like, do because pe- I feel like you've also people are also like, oh, people think it's like you feel like I'm not making enough money or like, I mean, because minimum wage in Korea also isn't that high, right? I guess, I guess if you, you went, went to, to like a, a rent, just like an ordinary restaurant in Korea and you 
suddenly gave them like extra cash in the form of tips it would just be completely bizarre to them i guess they probably thought you left your money there <laughs> but um i think no so i went to this uh tuna place um in those type of restaurants i don't know if you guys been to one but like you can often tip the server mm. to get better service Hmm. A so, tuna restaurant, like yeah, Japanese like, food, or tuna like yeah, 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 like sashimi, tuna, mm. sashi- tuna like sashimi. Yeah, you know, like because those places are usually like you pay like what like um, average of seventy to eight a hundred dollars per person, and it's like you know it's all you can eat basically. But um, I remember one of the person the one when I went I, when I went with a group of people, uh, one of them offered a small tip to the server. And I asked them why, and apparently it just kind of like, you know, boosts up the quality of the service you get that night. So mm. what kind of service mm. though? Like they bring you more water. They come around asking if you need more bread. I guess like, the portions are better. <laughs> and like if there are like other, like maybe they have stuff some stuff behind the counter or like you know, you know <coughs> just like some better quality pieces mm. and cuts. They might offer that as well, or like they might give you more like anju or like panchans, you know. So yeah. Mm. Do we need to explain Six. all Korean words? Because I'm imagining most of this audience <laughs> like, are Americans. Panju? What's Pancha? Or not Americans, but well, I, I'm gonna stop talking. <laughs> I feel like my well, okay. Offer but, your insight, but, Justin. <laughs> yeah. But other than this tuna restaurant, like at the general majority of Korean restaurants, I yeah. guess what's tipping culture like? Yeah. People don't tip. People don't tip, and then like if you did tip, would someone like chase you out, being like you left some money, or would they still just like pocket the money and be like ha ha ha? <laughs> What's on? <laughs> mm, yeah, I mean, I think I don't know. It's just it's just this is basic, purely like my opinion. But um, I think tipping is kind of viewed as like it's bribery in a case, like mm. in an extreme. It's like a small form of bribery, right? Like you see it in a lot of movies and like a lot of like crime movies in Korea, where like you would see a politician or some sort of character bri- like tip someone like a waiter or server at like a shady Mm -hmm. restaurant or like a fancy restaurant maybe and then you know they'll get extra services so i think it's not viewed in a positive way but i I mean i saw a video uh based on the history of tipping in america like essentially that also was like the the origin of tipping was basically the the same as it is now in korea like the way i the, the, the stuff i just said like where it was just you're bribing uh owners and servers to get better service right yeah Mm, that's interesting which is still kind of true technically isn't it like waiters i mean i guess you don't get tipped until the end but i feel like aren't most waiters like working for a tip so it's like they'll be nicer or they'll like whatever like pay more attention and stuff i guess the order changed you know oh so it's not like like you tip before it's like yeah yeah yeah. i think in the beginning it was like you tip before to ensure Uh, you get better service but now it's like the opposite so yeah Maybe we should go back to that. I would work harder if people tip me beforehand and I, would, I know I get people, paid after. Or so. like people Justin pay just, you beforehand and you're like, uh, got paid. Oh, peace I see you. Yeah, <laughs> just this piece, peace, peace. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. uh, Actually, it's so true. Never pay anyone beforehand. Cautionary tale that we won't share. Yeah. <laughs> but wait, but actually it made me think when you were talking about service though, what's this? Mm-hmm. So Korea has this thing called sobisu, right? Yeah. At restaurants, can you explain a little bit of what that is? What is sobisu when you go to a restaurant? Okay, so it's like, let's say you're a naturally polite person. You're very like your personality is very you know, easygoing. You're very you're it's you're very friendly, and you meet another friendly waitress or server or whoever at a restaurant, and um, you guys build some rapport, and it's like the atmosphere is really nice, and most of the times, um, the owner or whoever serving you food that night. They might feel like handing you more than what you ordered, pretty much. So like, there might be a certain dish that's not on the menu, but they just give it to you, or you know. So there's some basic conditions. It's like the more you order food, the more the owner feels like, oh, I should give them service so that it builds up their reputation, so that they'll come back and you know another day and the day after that, you know. So it's basically building a relationship. <laughs> Is there an American or English equivalent of... It's on the house? Yeah. Oh, it's on the house. Yeah. Oh, I guess that's yeah. what it is. It's so, true. There's like yeah. a Samgyeopsal place close to our house that we always go to because we get mm. konchizu for sobisu. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Makes me feel special. Yeah, we're like, oh, these and, people and know us and Justin's they want like, <laughs> every time he goes to a, a meat place, he's like, where's my corn cheese? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> what, this place doesn't serve corn cheese? Uh, uh. Yeah. That's cool. Wait, though. what's tangor in uh, English? It's like. Um, regular. Isn't it just like a regular? regular. Oh, yeah, yeah. it's a, you're, you're a regular, right? Yeah. Uh. Good thing we're just audio. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna leave that one in. <laughs> I'm gonna repeat it actually. That's cool. Wait, though. what's tangor in uh, English? It's like. Um... It's, it means regular, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Are you just cutting me out and then being like, Chris is like, what's tangor in English? And Justin's like, it's regular. So it means regular. <laughs> Justin's done uh, for the day. Yeah. I got I my line. Like, All right, I'm it's like continuing with the podcast. Um, but yeah, Chris, compared to America, what's your favorite thing about eating at restaurants in Korea? I guess aside from like the food itself. Oh, does do side dishes count then? Or like, do they not count then? I mean, like not, not like food. Oh, I guess like being served side dishes, I guess that counts. Yeah. I'm just talking no, about like, like, oh I no, my favorite thing Japan. is like samgyeopsal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I recently went to Japan. Wait, Justin um... actually left. <laughs> oh. <laughs> See you guys. Going home. I'm gonna get a beer. <laughs> okay, Chris, recent, Chris recently levels. went to Japan. Yeah. Okay. yeah, so I went to Japan, Justin. Can you please, like, do you have like ADHD or something? Like, can you just stay still for like ten seconds. <laughs> okay. Um. Yeah, so I went to Japan uh, a few weeks ago, and even though we're like neighboring countries, I still noticed how like I much how I prefer Korea in certain ways in terms of like restaurant experiences, just by the fact that. We get so many free side dishes. I feel mm. like I've been kind of spoiled by that part of the culture, of the dining culture here. Or like, I feel robbed if I don't get like a certain amount of food. Like if I <laughs> order a dish, even in Korea, like I don't, I'd rather go to a restaurant that has a lot of like small dishes that I can eat, like a wide variety of foods, rather than going to like a restaurant and just ordering one dish and just eating that. Mm. I mean, are there any restaurants that serve Korean food that only give you the meal that you ordered? I feel like it's so... I feel like Pantan is such a part of, like, yeah. Korean meals and Korean restaurants. And I think some people even, like, <laughs> rank the quality of that restaurant based on the quality of their Pantan rather uh. than the actual food itself, which is kind of funny. Because yeah. um, there was this one place I went to in Songsu. It was, like, it was, like, in a smart marketplace. And technically, the main dish is, like, meat and, like, other, like fish dishes yeah but we went there solely because of their like punch their side dishes like did you order anything or were you just like wait, wait, oh, wait, we ordered like the <laughs> bare minimum <laughs> yeah it's like we just keep on eating the side dishes because like the owner she would like she had like a farm or something and she would like pick out like vegetables and um roots and all these like you know really healthy side dishes herself and like every season it would change oh that's so, cool yeah, it was a, it was an experience. For What's sure. the plug for the restaurant? <laughs> yeah, wait. So you're uh, but in Japan, like... like you have to pay for kimchi at certain restaurants, you know. So yeah, actually, you know what's yeah. even like worse than that? I feel like when you're in Europe, have you tra? I mean, I'm assuming you've traveled to Europe, but like you get no, you go to restaurants. To Europe, but, yeah. Oh. they have like bread bowls and stuff like that, and you like eat the bread, and then you're charged mm. for the bread afterwards. Mm. <laughs> oh. Sneaky. It's like it's like. Oh, it's like when you're in a hotel and you like open the a mini fridge. The fridge. Yeah. Yeah. Like five dollars, like, oh, you open the fridge. Free. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like just opening the fridge is there's like a five dollar charge. <laughs> Wait, so you're basically quality over quant quantity over quality. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure. So if I showed you like ten dimes close together and then ten dimes <laughs> yeah. far apart, you'd be like, that one's yeah. more. <laughs> yeah, if you show me four dimes, I would pick that over like the dollar you know <laughs> it's like uh, more <laughs> wait but how does so how does it work in restaurants though they like everyone serves you pantan let's say and pantan is free or not free included as part of the meal can you go to a restaurant and like only order order one dish per f for like four people and just eat pantan or like is it normally like you still have to order like one dish per yeah, person? yeah i mean kind of yeah it's usually one dish per person um i think um that's also part of like the nunchi. Yeah. Put you know, of like Korean cultures like. Oh my god! Another Korean word, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Justin, you want to explain what nunchi is? Dude, nunchi, <laughs> I like think is so easy to explain. Actually, <laughs> I hate the yeah. 
All right, but yeah. Anyways, I can't yeah. guys. Stop, 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 stop <laughs> baiting mean, me. <laughs> this is what Chris is doing. Some uh-huh. restaurants even explicitly say like one meal per person. You have yeah. to order one item per person. I mean, that's like Wait, super unless, common yeah. at coffee shops yeah. or like cafes. Yeah, so yeah, like yeah, one exactly. drink per person. What would happen if you just came and was like, "Oh, I just want one piece portion of meat for me," and then Cohen's there as well, and she's like, "Oh, I'm just well." There's I'm a lot of here. there's actually a lot of like meat restaurants that don't even serve one portion of meat. I feel like the base or the minimum order yeah. is like yin bun. Like so what? Would, but what would happen if someone if you tried to do that? I feel like they'd probably be like, you need to order, or like our minimum is you need, or they like you you need to order. No, I don't think they kick you out. I think uh, they'd just be like, hey, you need to order. In the case of portions. Justin, they probably call the police and uh, <laughs> deport him from visa. the country. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they know I only want one portion. <laughs> I'm not that hungry. <laughs> no, but yeah. like all barbecue restaurants, I feel like the minimum starting is two, and then you can order like one an additional portion as you go, but like the base order is like at least two, right? Yeah. At least yeah. in my experience. Right. For most barbecue places, yeah. Yeah. Oh. It's kind of interesting that you they force you. It's like going into a department store and they're like, do some department stores do that? It's just interesting to have a rule on how much you have to purchase, basically. Yeah. It's I a mean, common I feel thing like, in Korea. Actually. Yeah, it, it is. Yeah. Like coffee shops. Or I guess even like even if you rent a studio, I feel like it's like minimum fee is this much and then you have to pay this much per additional person. Or maybe it's not the same. But yeah, is it like taboo then to like keep asking for pantan, or is it like pretty like oh yeah, we're gonna give you as much pantan as you want? I mean, it depends on the atmosphere of the restaurant, I guess. Um, like, there's a lot of places where it's like there's self corners where like you go up go yourself, yourself and you kind of like, like refill, refill on whatever, whatever side dish you want. And I mean, it like I've never ever experienced the. Moment where like the owner stopped asking me to like eat their side dishes. <laughs> Can you please? We're out <laughs> Can you of. Please stop. Yeah. <laughs> it's like you're killing us. But um, no. Uh, There's no more yeah, kimchi. I mean, We're out of kimchi. Yeah. It's but it's more so like they don't want you to waste food. Mm. So eat as much as you can eat, like handle, you know, pretty much. So yeah, or like order as much as you're gonna eat. I guess. Greedy. What do you think about the call bells in Korea? Oh, oh! I hate going to restaurants where they don't have call bells and they make me use my own voice. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Or you have to like wait for the server to come around. Or I feel like the yeah. worst is in the states actually when there's like a waitress by your table and you're like, oh, excuse me, like oh, like let me get the waitress for your table, like or the waiter yeah. for your table. Oh, do they do that? Yeah, because it's like oh, people are wow. tied to like tables and like right. or you get tip based on like which table you're serving. Right. And so I feel like usually if you're like, oh, can I get some water? They're like, oh, let me go get your waiter. Isn't that true? Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And you have to pay her an additional tip for getting your waiter. Yeah, they're like they have two lines on the receipt. Just, that's like wait, just a like spider web. Primary, of, uh, primary waiter, secondary waiter. Yeah, charges. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's worse. I'd I'd rather go into a restaurant and they're like, you have to at least order this instead of I don't even know how much I'm gonna have to pay for, to leave <laughs> exactly. this restaurant. <laughs> I just want to leave. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're. <laughs> In the, I think in the States, like, you're, like, kind of, like, trembling because you don't know exactly what the amount of money you're going to end up <laughs> yeah. paying. But in How Korea, it's, like, it's, just, it's blatantly clear. It's like, oh, I'm paying this X amount of money. So it's like you can just kind of eat, you know. Yeah. ease knowing how much you're gonna pay for the stage you're like you know what's oh, wait, tax gonna, gonna be cost? what's yeah. like the extra tip gonna be yeah. yeah yeah do you ever feel awkward about using the call bell or is it just like such a part of your like koreanness that's like yeah i mean um i mean there are certain restaurants where like you can hear the the the, the yeah like, it's like ding the dong. sounds the yeah. times of yeah. the bell and then there are some places where you don't hear it right yeah so and at you first, press it like so I guess times. some people might think it's broken, so they're gonna like constantly press <laughs> yeah. it, right? <laughs> and then you hear someone in the background like, "I'm coming!" <laughs> <laughs> Shut <laughs> up! Stop <laughs> pressing it. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, but yeah, no, I, it's so convenient. Um, and nowadays there are actual restaurants where like they have tablets uh, on, at your table where yeah. you can just order it from there. So they're eliminating you know server jobs, but <gasps> that's not our problem. So. <laughs> <laughs> One less person yeah. I don't have yeah. to tip. <laughs> we talk to. That I don't tip anyway. Yeah. That's I funny. think the craziest thing about tipping, like, I don't I guess it's not really part of the topic, but um, I saw a video of, like, people tipping at fast food restaurants in the States now. Oh, really? Just, That's crazy. I thought that was crazy. Yeah. Like, Are fast food restaurants, like, tipping, paying even less than, yeah. like, yeah. Like, some places, like, when you, you know those, like, ordering kiosks yeah whatever those things yeah like you order and there's like a 15 percent 
thirty percent like tipping charge feature or button、yeah. display. And it, it's like ba- it's crazy. Like what what are they doing? There is it, the whole point of fast food is like you know you're getting rid of the service. You know it's like I'm not paying you for like, the service five dollars <laughs> to make my hamburger. It's like. Actually, I feel like you know? I always feel awkward about this when I go back to the states. I guess maybe not as much when I'm li- when I was like living in the states. But when you go get like a coffee, when you go to a coffee shop for a to go order, and they like turn、yeah. the screen around and they're like, "How much? What percentage tip would you like to leave?" I'm like, exactly, I'm literally yeah, grabbing yeah, a yeah, coffee yeah. and leaving. Like, like I'm not like I did your job. Like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.、Uh, Wait, but, I mean, we have nothing against servers, but、uh, do people tip at Starbucks in America? I don't think. Yeah, no. There's、oh. some. I think there's. I think now, like, I don't know if it's specifically Starbucks, but there are like coffee places. I know you do it at coffee places in America, but I don't know if it's at Starbucks in America. I also can't remember now. Call Sh- buttons. What was I gonna ask? Restaurant paying for a meal. I mean, what I was gonna ask very in the very beginning. Oh, you so you remembered? Going, yeah. Your selective memory. So a rudely interrupted me and wanted to ask her question first. Is after we watched the short, and I still don't know if Chris even watched it. I hope he watched it as he was talking, but I don't understand how this video got so many views. Oh, that's a good question. Why are people? Oh、well, yeah, yeah. It doesn't make sense to me at all. Well, I don't so, know. So tell me what your theories are. Justin has such little faith in his content. I know. I'm like、uh, so discouraging. Are you though discouraged? No, actually, I don't. Actually, I was so surprised. We actually made this video in tandem with the video about like desserts in America versus Korea because I was trying to make the case that like Korean desserts are pibimbap and naengmyeon, and、uh, not pibimbap,、oh. pokumbap, pokumbap and naengmyeon, which、yeah. is like it's hoo chic.、Oh, yeah. So it's like technically it's like an after or like the end of your meal. But so many people on that video、right. were like, it's not actually like Koreans also have cakes and stuff. And I was like, okay. Um, I mean, they do have cakes. Yeah,、so. well, it's yeah. true. No, it's true. Going like, like okay. No, no, no. Real dessert also exists in Korea, but I was just like, I feel like. Yeah, I, I feel like、know. it was a clever.、Uh, Thanks. Thanks. Comparison. <laughs> Thank I thought, you. Yeah, I yeah. thought it was a clever comparison. But yeah, so I feel like when we posted those videos like in sequence with each other, I was really surprised that this one did super well because I'm like, do people actually care about this and like why is it so interesting to people? And I feel like a lot of people are like, oh. This is the rest of the world. Only America does it like the way it does. And then there was also a handful of comments that were like, "There's lots of different ways to pay for meals in America, and I guess also Korea." But、yeah. I don't know. What was your having watched it for the first time on this call, Chris? Yeah. <laughs> you didn't see well, it. What do you think? You heard the, the audio. No, no, no. I did a screen share. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. What was the、I'm、appeal the of the video?、Now. You think?、Uh, well, it's a- about dessert. Desserts. No, no, no. Paying for a meal. Why?、Like, oh, why do you think this short did well? Oh. I think the silverware drawer got most of the views. I <laughs> <laughs> think that's what it was. It's like what? <laughs>、uh, um, I know. Actually, I think that's kind of dirty, to be honest. I mean, a lot of people were like, "That's so unhygienic."、Oh, okay. Which is probably true because it's like who knows if、But、people wash their hands before like grabbing things. Yeah. Also, yeah. And all these hands going in there, fingering around, and blah blah blah. blah. Who I knows mean, what they I usually before, actually, <laughs> if there is like a shared cutlery drawer, I usually like wipe off my cutlery before I use it. Oh.、Uh, because they also usually serve you like baby wipes or like a wet tissue.、Yeah. I normally go back to the bathroom and just wash it. <laughs> you take wash it one more time. Think of it as like you know. You gotta improve your immune system somehow. So、yeah. these are these are one of them.、Uh, um, I just use them all and put them back in. Wait, what <laughs> do you think? So, what do you think is so interesting about the cutlery drawer? I mean, cause like it also eliminates a part of the server's jobs, right? Like, cause usually the waitress or a waiter they come by and they give you your cutleries, right? And like、yeah. set up your plates and stuff. So. Um, I guess it's about convenience, and、uh, I think I like. I feel like Korean restaurants really like to save on time、mm. in preparation and food serving, and like just try. They try to reduce the amount of time for you to eat your meal as soon as, as quick as possible, as like as much as possible.、Mm. And I feel like those kind of little additions help shave a lot of you know seconds for you. Do you think this is like a? a- Theme, I suppose, in Korean culture in general, like efficiency, or this isn't、oh, a yeah, leading question、sure. at all, but like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, just you know, they want to deal with you as yeah as little as possible. So, but does that water make... some people, you know, yeah, pour you in water. They'll, they'll just like ask you to get it yourself. So, 
I guess a lot of restaurants too is like 물은 셀프입니다, as yeah. in like you have to go get your own water. But do you? But do you feel like that's reflected in actual like? eating culture in Korea do people like eat quickly then and leave or it's like because I feel like you still see people like hanging out drinking and like sitting at a table for like forever you know I think for me I'm a really fast eater um Mm. what uh, if there's someone older at your table that's eating slower than you (laughs) yeah I mean then you probably have to wait (laughs) (laughs) but um I think Koreans they take their time at cafes more than they do at restaurants Mm. Like, I feel like, for me, I just kind of like, I feel like I don't really like talking a lot while eating because mm. I want to focus on the food. And like, <laughs> you know, especially if it's like served hot, then like if it like, like you know, kind of cools down, down, it kind of loses part of its flavor, I guess. Yeah. So you want to eat that as soon as possible. But um, yeah, I think, I don't know, um, like barbecue, though, you, can, you have to take your time no matter what. Um, I mean, there are like speed runners i guess who tried to eat as much and as fast as possible but uh i think most restaurants it's not really like a i don't know when, when we talk about restaurants in america or what, what what are we talking about like, olive garden <laughs> olive garden <laughs> yeah. yeah well i feel like it would still be a sit-down restaurant because i okay i guess a difference is in, i mean maybe a little bit back to the dessert thing but a lot of korean restaurants i feel like have the meal and then like people leave like you were saying like uh, coffee shops maybe like people Mm. leave and then do the dessert or something elsewhere so i do feel like there's no culture of like sitting around being like oh yeah we'll order dessert or like oh yeah we'll get like another i don't know what but yeah for sure like it's completely separated there's no really like dessert (laughs) portion of the meal in most restaurants here so yeah, you can't go Unless to like a Sangup like place yeah. and ask for like a carrot cake when you're done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Do people still like fight over the bill here or is that like a feature of old people where it's just like, oh, I'll pay for the meal. No, I'll pay for the meal. Like, oh, like actually paying for it? Yeah. And like, you don't have to pay them back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, you go out for do, a you, meal. You, you, yeah. you, have you, you experienced that? that? <laughs> <laughs> you guys can do that? <laughs> <laughs> that was an option um uh i think it's like so i think um i don't know this i don't i don't know if this started in america but you know what kadepang is like you know or like you let's say you go to like a coffee shop or some like like mcdonald's or something and you guys all order and then <clears throat> um i don't know i think i saw this in, a, in a, an american youtube video but um a friend all the friends would like take their credit cards and they would like put it oh, in one pile like yeah. russian roulette like, yeah yeah russian roulette and like the, yeah. the the person would like take one of the cards and that person would end up paying it so that's yeah. that's like a type of game that people would do here um, wait people do that uh, game here yeah oh. uh, i i sometimes do it um, yeah a lot of college students do it too yeah um, wow is it ever like you're the unlucky person that ends up having to pay for a meal every single time <laughs> Yeah, no, so in my, even in my uh, company right now, every time we go out for a meal yeah. at lunch, we usually get coffee. Yeah. And we always try to come up with new ways to, like, s- decide who's going to pay for today's coffee. Yeah. And, and it's like, it hey. Be, like, rock, paper, scissors yeah. or, you know, some weird game that yeah. we play. Yeah. Nice. Sure. Did you watch Physical 100? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I watched, like, four episodes of it. Oh, nice. You don't ever do, like, who can hang on to the pole the long- or the bar the longest? And then... Yeah, I know. We did, we, when it was snowing, we, t- we, t- we did a, who can hit that uh, bar oh, all the nice. way over there with a snowball. <laughs> wow, very cool. <laughs> really <laughs> primitive games that we play. No, so the most, those most popular game we have, we have, like, this uh, trash can in the park, in the parking lot in our building, in front of our building, and we would take tiny pebbles and we would, like, try to throw it in the trash can. And, like, whoever, <laughs> like, ends up not making it has to pay. So uh, stuff like nice. this. Nice. Yeah. Do you secretly practice at home before you go to work yeah, every day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Every yeah. night before I go home. Yeah. The call button is the most important feature. That way you don't have to... That way you don't have someone bothering you every five minutes or not at all. It's true. How yeah. many more times could you need a top-up of water? Or be asked how the meal is. I feel like it's so awkward when people come up and how's your meal? You're like, oh, it's good. Do you? Does anyone ever say it's like? Have you ever said that it's like, oh, it's not good. Could be better. <laughs> could be better. Yeah, could use a little bit more salt. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to see could the chef. Could use some please. privacy. Oh <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, I remember like 
it was my first time back in the states after like 10 years 10 or more so years i think and i was at a restaurant i was just so like uncomfortable with how like foreign everything felt yeah and like in terms of like red dining experiences like i'm the type of person who really like i consider it a successful like shopping experience if i can just like walk into a store and like not have any like <laughs> contact or interactions with <laughs> any of the workers there and just like kind of like just sneak to sneak out <laughs> like, just steal something just like walk yeah. out with are you a thief on it. are you actually just a thief who's sneaking <laughs> yeah, into a with, store with like a whole bunch of stuff in my pockets and like <laughs> <laughs> no, but yes i i just get so uncomfortable when like employees and like people and like cl- store clerks like they come up to you and ask you if you need anything or if you're looking for anything and it's just like oh no i'm just i'm just you know i'm just trying to steal around. something please leave me yeah. alone it's like i have to like prepare an answer in my head before i walk in I'm like, uh, okay, this is like this sounds this a lot what like what a thief say. would do like, all right if they stop me i need to prepare I'm an answer to, do you need anything and you're like, like no five steps in, in advance but uh yeah i think in the restaurants it's the same thing it's just like you know there are a lot of introverts even in America, I feel like just, yeah. that's basically why this comment is so popular. And yeah, I want to be left alone. Yeah, I just that's don't. True. I don't want to talk to any more people than I have to. Yeah. But I wonder if people who actually serve at restaurants how they feel about this constant like. But the bell. No, this like constant um, reoccurrence of waiters, you know, or servers coming by a table, like people who worked in that industry. In America or in Korea? Yeah, in America. Oh, I feel like in America. I mean, I really feel like a lot of the culture is probably based off the tip, you know, because it's like, oh, like I need to like go check to make sure like people are okay to like. I think some people like it. Like, I feel like my mom (laughs) loves chit chatting. She's like, oh my god, there's another person here, and they're like, like, let me tell my whole life story story every time she comes back. (laughs) He's like, I'll tell you when you come back (laughs) with more water. (laughs) Yeah. But I imagine, I would hope most servers in the States know... Are socially aware enough yeah, to like... Yeah, to know like, oh, this group doesn't want me to come every five minutes. Or this per- this group likes... This person wants me to listen to their yeah. life story for the 12th time this meal. Yeah. yeah. Like, sometimes I feel like... I feel like it's peer pressure almost, like, when they come by. I feel like I had to order something every time they come by. (laughs) Maybe it's a tactic, actually, because, like, the higher your bill gets, like, the more you end up tipping because it's a percentage of your bill, right? So I feel like I've also heard that, like, what, like, waiters or waitresses will recommend certain things on the menu based on, like, how much they cost. So it's like, oh, you should get the lobster tonight. (laughs) It's, like, really good. I feel like it's, yeah, you're right. Yeah. I mean, I was at a friend's house, um, and I we ordered pizza, and I answered the bell. I answered the door, um, and I think I tipped him like maybe five dollars or something. And he came back. And he gave me the meanest look, oh. and I was like, <laughs> and then I guess he noticed I was Asian, and then he's like, "Oh man, these Asians and they're like <laughs> cheap tipping." <laughs> Actually, I feel like that's true though. I feel like a lot yeah. of Asians aren't used to tipping. I feel like when yeah, I was in yeah, college, yeah. I had a lot of friends that like didn't tip or would give the minimum tip when we went to restaurants, and I feel like that was just kind of a Thing. I think it's like another it's stereotype. I mean, it's yeah. not a stereotype because it's probably true, but yeah, uh, yeah Asians <laughs> are not good at tipping. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, there's also a lot of white people that aren't good at tipping, as I. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. I thought I thought five dollars would be enough for a delivery. But was it but the percentage of whatever you ordered? Because yeah. it's based on. Like, the I don't want to do math at the door. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to eat my pizza. <laughs> yeah. Actually, I wonder if like they made it if. They made it easier to, like, give certain amounts of tips. I wonder if people would, like, it would... Yeah, like, why not just include it in the bill? I feel like the fact that it's probably on an app now and you have to choose, like, 10, 20, 20. or 30%. Yeah. But it's not always so, on an app, yeah. right? Like, but, they use, like, Venmo and, like, all these other delivery apps, right, in the, in the States as well? Yeah. Yeah. So, do they have tipping in that then, or...? I have no idea. We're the wrong also, people to no. ask. I mean, I would feel yeah. uncomfortable if I paid for the meal already through an app. And then had to pay and then a tip, I had to pay a tip got... at the door. Yeah. But I guess maybe they yeah. do that. I don't know. I don't know. No, I mean, I mean, I mean, through the app, like it's like a like you mentioned, there's probably like a tipping. Oh yeah. Feature or button. The mechanism. Added, right? There must be. But. Yeah. Imagine if they like tip every like delivery in Korea, like coupon and like all these oh like delivery God. riders. Wait, who gets the like... delivery fee on coupon and stuff like that? That's just like. Yeah, yeah, that's coupon. true. No, yeah. but like, the does a restaurant get the delivery fee or is it the? It must be the restaurant because it's different per restaurant. If it was like a standard thing for deliveries, then I feel like it would just be like pedalbi for everywhere is like samcheonan. 
but I feel like yeah, some yeah, restaurants yeah. like it, charge based the on the majority order. probably goes to the restaurant. Yeah. Because it's based off of distance as well. Yeah. So. Or the amount that you order or something. Yeah. 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 Anyways, I feel like we're getting off topic. Cool. And we should wrap it up because it's really long. Yeah. Well, <laughs> thanks for joining, Chris. Bye. Yeah. <laughs>